ஆமீன்ரபிலாலமீன்ரபிஸ்வர்ஸ்வர்ஸ்வர்ஸ்வர்ஸ்வர்ஸ்வர்ஸ்வர்ஸ்வர்ஸ்வர்ஸ்வர
the, the first question, the answer of the first question is already coming because you guys are super duper smart. How many genders are there in Arabic language? Two. Very good job. And what are those, by the way? What are the feminine and masculine? Good job. Very well done. By default. So listen very carefully. Listen carefully, then answer. By default, my world is going to be what? It's going to be masculine or feminine? Zofin, very well done. Ishal, Hadia, Tayyab, oh my God, Asad, Ayma, Amira, very good job. My word is going to be masculine. Very well done. Okay, so next question. And this is the tricky one. These are the tricky ones. For me, it used to be very tricky. Yeah. So for me, it was tricky. Let me see how well you guys can do. So um, the first thing. So how many kinds of feminine? Give me the types of kinds of feminine this time. Very good job. How many kinds of feminine? Very well done. And you guys are saying three kinds of feminine. And which ones are those? Real feminine? What? Very good job. Second one. Second one. Feminine by sign. And third one. Very good job. Heard feminine. Now you guys are going to give me the examples of real feminine. Real feminine. Give me some examples of real feminine. Mother, mom, good job. Sister, very good job. Cow, good job. So, uh, very well done. Your Khala, your Maryam, your Zainab, very good job. Very well done. Okay, so these were the real feminines. How about the tricky one, this question? What are some signs of feminine? Who remembers that? I hope that you guys don't remember and you guys are going to give me the wrong answer and that will make me happy that I was able to trick you. Very good job. <laughs> you guys all remember that? Yeah, very well done. Good job. Yes, Tamar Bhuta. Very good job, Noor. Very good job. Alif Maksura Hadi. I'm like, I'm not able to even say your guys' word, names. Manala. It comes so fast. Very well done, Tayyab. Alif Mamduda. Good job. Alif Maksura. Good job. Very well done. And then comes my next question for you all. Do you know what is meant by heard feminine? What is meant by that? What is meant by that? Yes, exactly. Because Arabs said so, yeah? This is how Arabs used to say, say, say this, these isms as, yeah? So they were treated feminine by Arabs. So you are going to, exactly. Rayan, you are on it. Excellently done. Very well done. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> Arab used to say these, uh, no, 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 we are not going to be babies. No, 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 no. Ahmed, Fajr, no, my dear. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that, okay? Do not send these type of pictures, okay? So, yes, we are going to, um, yes, we are going to say the herd feminine are the one. Uh, herd feminine are the one because they were heard as feminine by the Arabs. Good job. Very well done. So now I want you to use your imagination. Bring in your imaginations what we were able to cover, what we covered, yeah? So let me see if you guys remember. Do you remember slide of herd feminine? How many of you guys remember that? Type in the chat box, one. If you remember seeing the slide of herd feminine, I was showing you some picture. Barakalafikum, very good job, very well done, yes. How many did we cover? How many kinds of herd feminine we covered? SubhanAllah, there you go. Very well done. We were able to cover five kinds of herd feminine. Yeah, we were able to cover five kinds of herd feminine. You know what? That means that there are more kinds, but we did not cover that. And that is okay. Okay. So for now, we are going to... Yes, exactly. Is that okay? That is very right. Hadia, you are... More than welcome to do so. Open your notes. That is, that is why we are doing it. You are supposed to open your notes if you don't remember and it is totally okay. Very good job. Okay, so now I want you to bring to your mind, bring to your imagination, just like a small little cloud on top of you. Some categories of herd feminine. Give me some categories and Anaya has already given. Do we have to do notes? Alena, I would say you should do notes. Yeah, you should do notes if you can. Yes, so some categories of herd feminine because Arab said so. What are some other kinds of herd feminine? Body parts in pairs. Very good job. Any pictures coming to your mind? Give me the name of the pictures. I want to see how smart you guys are. 
I know this is not that, may not be that important, but I want to see how many of you guys can remember. Feminine girls for ear, leg, exactly. Books were coming. Wind is coming. Ear is coming. Broken plurals. Very good job. Lungs, exactly. Scholars, very well done. Um, uh, yeah, uh, fire is also coming to my mind. Yeah, wind and fire was also coming to my mind. And also, there was a map. Do you guys remember that? There was a map and then there were some nations. Uh, I remember that thing too. Mm, yes, I think we guys, very good job. You guys are on it. Very well done. Alhamdulillah. I'm so, so, so proud of you. Good. Exactly, Ayama. That was a fire. Exactly. Okay, let's look at this one now. This one, I want you to review it one more time, real quick. One more time. Names of tribes and places. Yeah, easy. You all know it, actually. Body parts in pairs, meaning if I ask you, what about my ear? What are you going to say, masculine or feminine? My ear. So you're going to say real quick, M or F? F, 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 F. Ear has another part. Yeah, it has a pair. It's in pair, F, F, F. Very well done, good job. Very good job. Okay, this one was a tricky one. Plurals, not all the plurals. Broken plurals, yeah? And non-human plurals. Non-human plurals and my broken plurals, yeah? And then you guys, do you guys remember any examples? The we I think we covered the books. Exactly. Good job, mice. Yeah, meaning good job. Very well done. We had that examples. And then teeth. Very good job. You guys are super duper smart. Very well done. Names of fire and wind used in Quran. They are mostly treated feminine. Very well done. And then story. Now I this is I don't expect you guys to remember that, but any of you guys remember any word from the story? Any word from the story? Which was sky. Good job. Cup. Good job. Sun. Good job. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. How about water? Very good job. Very well done. Very good job. And then staff. Yeah. Remember he was putting the, the very good job. The EM. Bucket. Wine. Good job. Hell. Very well done. You guys are on it. I am so proud of you guys. So proud of you guys. <laughs> very well done. Good job. Very well done. Okay, so let's go to our next part. Okay, L real quick. Give me just one second. Okay, just one second. Okay. I am back, alhamdulillah. Okay, let's see. So what do I have next for you guys? Okay, let's see. So this was the gender. Okay, let's talk about, just shift your mind. Okay, so put the gender in a box. Yeah, put the gender in a box. Bring out numbers in your mind. I want you to do that. Okay, so you guys are going, supposed to bring out the numbers and put the gender in a box. Can you do that? If you can do it, type four. Type four, if you can switch your mind and now talk about numbers, not gender this time. Okay, very good job. How many kinds of numbers? Give me the kinds of numbers. Very well done. How many kinds of number? There are three. Good job. Very well done. Very good job. And exactly how, uh, very well done. Okay, so now I want you to focus on the pair. For the pairs, now fill in the blank, okay? Words get, so let's read it together. Words get combination of ya or wow noon in the blink of the word, in the beginning or at the end of the word. What do you guys think? Beginning or the end? Very good job. Exactly. Very well done. Bilal, Sharika. Very good job, Musab. Very well done. Good job. In the end of the word. Good job. Ending. Okay, so carefully. Listen carefully. I'm in on pairs. Yeah. I am not talking about singular this time. I'm in, I, I'm in the pair. So my mind is all looking at the pair. Ending sound for the pair is... A, 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 aini, very good job. And Ani, very good job. A, a, ani, meaning Musli, ma, 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 maini, yeah? And Musli, ma, mani, very good job. So both of them, very good job. A, a, aini and ain, very good job. Super duper good job. And here is the difficult part. I am going to talk about plurals. This sounds, they, they are a little tricky. 
Uh, okay, so you are going to remind me how many kinds of plurals in Arabic language. Very well done. And what are those kinds? Give me the kinds of plural. Plural. Kinds of plural. Very well done. So they are sound plurals. Very good job, Ahmed. Very well done. Bilal, very good job. Hadia, excellently done. Nabira, good job. Very well done. All of you guys, I'm, I'm, as I was telling, Abrar, very well done. So yes. So you have sound plural, then you have a broken plural, and then you have collective nouns, yeah? And I want you guys to remember them in a sequence. Yeah, in Arabic grammar, sequence is very important. Yeah, it is okay if you go without sequence, but if you are following a sequence, subhanAllah, you're going to be super awesome, okay? So yes, so give me yes or no, Y or N, yes or no, sound plural, ending changes. In the sound plural, yes or no? In, in, uh, for the sound plurals, ending changes, yes or no? Ending, this is a sound plural is a game of an ending. You need to look at the ending, 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 ending. Yes, 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 good job. For the broken plural, for the broken plural, my word is broken, yes or no? What do you guys think? My word is broken and then I come up with a plural, meaning from column, uh, I have ekolamun from kitab. I have kutubun. Yeah, so meaning you change the word. You just break the word apart. Very well done. And now I want you, I want you to bring to your memory, bring in your imaginations. I want all of you to give me three pictures that I showed you, yeah, when we were doing collective nouns. Give me those pictures. I, I worked hard on those pictures. So I hope that you guys remember them. Give me those pictures. Which were those pictures that were on your slide? I want you to bring them to your imagination. What did you see on your slide when we were doing collective nouns? Okay, let me go down. Scholars, very good job. You were able to see some scholars, yeah? Or oh, what else? By the way, we were not looking for the collective nouns. Nouns. Nouns for the collective nouns. We were not looking at scholars because that is a broken plural. Yeah. Army. Yes. We were looking at the army. Very good job. And what else? We were looking at the family picture. There was a family picture I showed you. Remember? All of you guys remember that? Very well done. Exactly. So you guys can remember, keep these two examples in mind for now. Okay. Very well done. And then now comes the, uh, that was a review. So now comes one of the, the most important thing. Coming are some very, 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 very important things, which can be a little tricky. Sound plurals, okay, sound plurals. I'm talking about sound plurals. These are the plurals where the beginning does not change, okay? Sound plural remains sound. Sound means the word is in a good shape. It's very sound, it's very smart, it's very strong, okay? So sound plurals, divide into two categories. What are those? Sound plurals, very well done, good job. Masculine sound plurals and feminine sound plurals. And I am super duper proud of you guys. Super duper proud of you guys, very well done. Very good job. And then, by the way, before I go next, before I go next, Tricky question. So listen carefully. Listen carefully. For the, I'm going to trick you. So for the feminine sound plural, feminine, bring to your memory those girls. Yeah. There was a letter. There was a combination which uses, which is in the feminine sound plural. Atun, very good job. Ta, ta, ta. Atin, very good job. Muslimatun. Muslimatin, very good job, meaning ta, ta, ta. The letter ta, as we were covering last time, letter ta is some, one of the letters very special to Arabs people's heart. They give a lot of importance to that, yeah? Okay, so then we are going to go to the next one, as you guys remember already that. That stuff is already good in your mind. Broken plurals, uh, this is... Can be tricky. Broken plurals are also divided into two categories. Give me the categories of broken plurals. I'm looking for answers from all of you now. Broken plurals. Yeah. Broken plurals. Bring to your mind what were the what were the some pictures? Broken plurals. Very good job. That is something tricky. Yeah. I'm seeing not many answers are coming. 
Very good job. Now they are coming human broken plural and non-human broken plurals. Very well done. Swanala, you guys are super duper smart. Human and non-human. In the human broken plural, remind me the example. What is the example that you remember of a human broken plural? Give me the example. I also showed you the pictures. I showed you the picture. No? And I uh, human broken plural. Give me the example of any human broken plural. Scholars. Very good job, Hadia. Very well done. Very good job. Alim. Alim became ulama. Ulama. Okay. Alim. From alim, you have ulama. From, look at this one. You all know this. You have heard these words many times. Nabi. Okay. So listen carefully. Nabi. Nabi is a one Nabi. Okay. So one prophet. Okay. So that is Nabi. Plural is, one of the plural is Anbiya. Right? So you are, now you should be coming, it should be coming to your mind. SubhanAllah. Nabi to Anbiya. Meaning you change the word. You just broke the word and then put some extra letters. Exactly. Very good job. Very well done. Anbiya. Um, and Rasul. Rasul, then the Rasul becomes Rusulun. Wow is dropped. Wow is chopped off. Exactly. Very good job. So these are the human. When you talk about non-human broken plural, should come to your mind the example of um, column, pens, and also the books. Okay. Okay. Let's go next, inshallah. So what do I have next for you? Okay, so this is, I want you, now I want you to remember this slide. I want your mind to have this slide, okay? Oh, you are going to ask me, what is, what, is, what is going on here, yeah? So these are, what I'm trying to show you is, you love Legos and I also love Legos. And I also sometimes hate Legos because they are all the time on the floor everywhere. And they hurt my feet sometimes. So many colors, exactly, very good job, yes. Okay, so what I'm trying to tell you is you guys were able to go over something last time, which is the building block of the grammar. Whole grammar is sitting on these blocks. Yeah? Whole grammar is sitting on these blocks. And what are these blocks? And that is your Muslim on chart. Okay? Muslim on chart. So now let's focus on Muslim on chart. Let's get the Lego out of your mind. Yeah. So let's focus there on the Muslim on chart now. Muslim on chart, if you guys know this chart, you guys are going to be, I would say 20% you, you are going to be good in grammar. Meaning you guys are going to look at the word in Quran. Any word of Quran coming to your, like in front of you, you guys are going to apply the Muslim on chart and you guys are going to get the right answer. By doing what? By remembering and understanding this chart. Muslim on chart. Okay? Yes, you are. You are um, both the charts. So Muslim on chart includes the masculine Muslim on chart. Yeah? And the feminine one. Both. Okay? So let's talk about this Muslim on chart. Before I go next, I want um, the, the, I want the students to type 2. If you don't know this chart, if you don't know this chart from before, type 2. Hadia doesn't know this one. Nahal doesn't know. Emma Salman doesn't know. You don't know. You guys don't know, okay? Noor doesn't know this chart. Barira doesn't know this chart. Um, I do. Hadia, change the answer. Uh, Bilal, you don't know this chart? I think you know, knew, I, you know this chart. You taught me. Yeah, uh, okay. So let's talk about this chart. Yes, you know this chart. Exactly, okay. So I want you all to remember now how we are going to do it. You have done it before. Okay, so now focus now. Focus on these charts. I want you to remember these charts by heart. And as most of you already do. Okay, most of you guys already do. So what are you seeing in this chart? Let's look at the chart one more time. Okay, one more time. So masculine is going to be here, meaning masculine chart you are going to recite first, then comes feminine chart, yeah? So masculine chart and then feminine chart. In your masculine chart, I want you to go draw in your mind. Now you're drawing in your mind, maybe on your notebook too. Draw in your mind. There are actually 
I am seeing one, two, three, four. I am seeing four columns. Yeah. So four columns. One, two, three, and four. Yeah. So four columns. And then on your right hand column, this is my right hand column. Okay. On your right hand column, right hand column, look, let's focus what is written. Masculine, right hand column here in the feminine side. Feminine. Yeah. Easy. Then are these words written? Rough, nasp, and jar. What is written? So type in the English. R A F A rough, nasp, and jar. We are not going to talk about it, but just focus. That this, this these words are written. Yes, you can say R N and J. R rough, nasp, and jar. What is written? Type in the chat box. R N and J. You don't know what is that. And it's okay. I don't want you to know. Rough, nasp, and jar. R, N, and J. There are three words written. And when you talk about the other columns, easy. Singular, pair, and plural. These are the numbers. Yeah. So, now you are going to say the masculine chart has three main columns, three number columns. And then there is rough, nasp, and jar. Yeah. And then feminine is the same thing. Look at that. Feminine, same thing. Yeah. In your first column, you all know it. I'm just re review, like reviewing it, repeating myself. All of you know the first column, the main column, it all is singular. Yeah. The main column, the first one is singular. Then is my pair. Yeah. And then is my plurals. So singular, pair, and plurals. Singular pair and plurals. Good job. Very good job. Okay. Now, if I ask you, okay, so I'm going to ask you a tricky questions now. Now, look, you're looking at the chart. Now, I'm going to ask you what comes. I don't want you to remember these things now, okay? Main columns are these ones. The Muslimon, Musliman, Muslimin, Muslimani, Muslimaini, Muslimaini, these ones. Now, tell me on the right side, what comes on the right side? If I give you what is my right side column, what are you going to say? What are you going to say on my right side? Which one? Which one is coming? Which one is coming? So you're going to say my singular is on my right side. This side. The one my cursor. Look at my cursor moving. Singular is my right side. Then on my left side, my plural. And in the middle is my pair coming. Very easy. So singular on the right. Then is my pair coming in the middle and then my plural. And that is how the numbers are actually, right? So one, two, and look at these faces up here. One, two, three. Three or more. Okay. So one, two, and three. Meaning my singular on the right side. My pair coming second, meaning in the middle row. No, this is a column, sorry. In the middle column. And then my plural in my last column. Okay. Last one, left one, okay? Left one, you're going to focus now, okay? Focus and do not answer each other. Please focus here, okay? Okay, so let's look at this one. For the Muslim masculine chart, masculine chart, these are the charts where you are only going to play with the ending, okay? You are playing with the ending. So I want you to focus on the ending. One more time. No, you did not miss anything. Please, more than um, Salar, please join in. You didn't miss. Just listen carefully. What is going on now? So in your first chart, in your masculine chart, only the ending, this is a game of an ending. You need to focus on the ending. Okay? So let's focus. Muslim mun, Muslim man, Muslim mean. Yeah? Your pesh, then your Zabar and then your Z. Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin. Mun, man, min. Say it louder. Keeping yourself on mute. Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin. Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin. Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin. Yeah. Do not recite to me tomorrow. Muslimun, Muslimin, Musliman. No, I don't want to listen to that. I want you to go in the sequence. Okay, sequence is very important. Mun, man, min. Muslim, mun, Muslim, man, Muslim, min. Okay, so keep the sequence in mind. Comes your next uh, uh, column. And this next column is pair. And you all know it already, actually. We are just reviewing it with you. 
I already told you, pair has a, 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 ni. So let's look at that. Musli, ma, ni. Musli, ma, ma, maini. Musli, maini. Yeah. So you can see for the pair, these two no words are the same. Yeah. Can you see that? Same, 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 same or same. Musli, maini. Musli, maini. Good job. Mama, mama. A, a, a is done in the pair. Yeah. It's done in the pair. There is no u in the pair. There is no e in the pair. Okay. So where is the u and e? Let's look at plurals. Plural is three or more. Three, four, five, six and onwards. Whatever your number you have in mind. Okay. So u and e is here. In this column, there is no u, e, and pair. Yeah, we remember that. And I'm talking about the ending. Okay, again, look at this one now. Muslimuna, una, you know this one. Yeah, then Muslimina, and then Muslimina. Yeah, meaning when I am looking at these columns, are you noticing these two words, Muslimaini, Muslimaini, same. Yeah, nothing new. They are the same. And Muslimina, Muslimina, same. Got it? Everyone good with that? I want you to keep this in mind. Because I am going to ask you tomorrow, tell me what was in the right column. Give me what was in the left column. What was in the middle column? So I want you to remember one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay? So you guys are going to tell me what is in, in the box number one. This word is in box number three. Give me the box number three word. So you are going to tell me the ending. You're going to give me the ending and you guys are very smart. You guys can do that in blink of an eye, okay? Very quickly. If I ask you, what is in the fourth column? Muslimani, you should all remember, I'm talking about the second column now. What is in the third column? You should know I'm talking about plurals, okay? If I give you columns, you should be able to keep that in mind, okay? So let me do it one more time. Muslimun, Musliman, Muslimin, Muslimani, Muslimaini, Muslimaini, Muslimuna, Muslimina, Muslimina. All good? If you're all good with this, type 6. You all know it. You have done it. Type 6. I just want to make sure that you guys remember what is in my columns? What is coming in my columns? And what is in my second column? What is in my third column? Bring in the picture in your mind. I want you to have this picture in your mind. Comes my famine and chart. What is special about famine and chart? Who's going to tell me? Who is going to remind me which one, which letter is the favorite letter? When you talk about love, when you talk about affection, when you talk about compassion, yeah, all the gentleness and kindness brings the word that should bring in your mind the word ta, meaning just like, just like, um, as loving as your mom is. Arabs use the letter ta for famine and figure. Okay? Meaning, when you are looking at Muslima tun, no, it's the same. Almost looks the same. The only word added is which one? Ta. Exactly. Ta is added. Ta, 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 ta. You will see in the whole table. There is, along with meme, seen, la, meme, there is ta coming. Yeah? There is a ta in the table. Muslima tun, Muslima tun. Done. Again, you are playing with the ending. When your ending was meme, you were changing the harakon meme. This time, your ending is ta. So you will change the ending with ta. Okay? So muslimatun, muslimatan, muslimatin. Look at this one. Muslimatani, ta ta tani, muslimatataini. All the ta's have fatha. Yeah, ta, 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 ta. There is no tu. Yeah, there is no nothing like that. Tani, taini, muslima, taini. What is meant by, Hadia, did I ask you to look at that? No, I didn't. I told you, do not focus on R, N, and J. For now, know the names and inshallah, we will learn it about them next time. Okay, next to next. Okay. So, ta, 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 muslima, ta, ni, muslima, ta, ni, muslima, ta, ni, muslima, tun, muslima, tin. There is a trick here. You will notice, subhanallah, many students will make this mistake. 
Look at this word again. Muslimatin. Oh, look at that. The hmm. Tin. It is not tan. There is no tan in Arabic language. Okay? There is no muslimatan. Ending is atin. Then ending is atin. Meaning these, the last column has the same ending. Both the words are same. Just like muslimataini, muslimataini comes here. Muslimatin, muslimatin. Okay? So please make sure when you are reciting your table, you are not saying atun, atan. Okay? So let me do one more time feminine table. Okay? Feminine. I'm talking about the feminine table. You have already covered the masculine one. I'm going to talk about the feminine one. Let me just see why not my is not moving. Okay, it's, it's refused to move. Really? Are you gonna move? Okay. Okay, so let me see this one. Muslimatun. Now close your eyes. Close your eyes. Say it louder. Muslimatun, Muslimatan, Muslimatin. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a pause so that you can say. Muslimatun, Muslimatan, Muslimatin. Muslimatani, Muslimataini, Muslimataini. Muslimatun, Muslimatin, Muslimatin. Got it? No offense, but doesn't it end with no, Namai? No, no, no. We are in the tin, tin, tin table. We are not there. Fahad, uh, Zara Hadia, look at this one. In the feminine chart, your ta is a player. Look at your ta. And feminine ending is very special, just like you guys are. Yeah? The girls are very special in their own way. So just like that. They, they don't like una ina. They don't like me. They don't like ua ua. They don't like it. They say ah, tin, ah, tun. That is, that, that is going to be my ending. Okay? So make sure that you remember it. Ah, tun, ah, tin, ah, tin. Okay? So again, close your eyes. Say it louder. Louder. Muslimatun, muslimatan, muslimatin. Muslimatani, muslimataini. Muslimataini. Muslimatun. I want you to say it matun. So that you remember this is atun ending. I'm talking about Hamza, not Hamza, Alifta ending. Atun. Muslimatun. Muslimatin. Muslimatin. Okay? All good with this table? Okay, let me, I have only one minute. I am going to take a volunteer this time and who is going to recite the feminine chart. The chart that that person is going to recite is going to be feminine. Okay. I am going, let me just um let you give the mic. I have uh, some hand raised here. Zara. Zara, my dear, unmute yourself. Unmute yourself and then start saying the table. Good job. Go for it. I'm the feminine one. Feminine one. Yes. Muslimatun, Muslimatan, Muslimatan, uh, Muslimatani, Muslimataini, Muslimataini, uh, Muslimatun, Muslimatan, Muslimatan. No, Muslimatan, no, no, no. Muslimatin, Muslimatin. Zara, make that sound out. Muslimatin. Say it the way I'm saying. Muslimatan. Muslimatun, Muslimatin, Muslimatin. Muslimatun, Muslimatin, Muslimatin. Good job. Very well done. Super duper good job. Very well done. Uh, my dear Hadia, uh, Hadia Vakas. Can you unmute yourself, my dear? And I want you to say it just like I'm saying it. Uh, 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 tun, uh, tin, uh, tin. Okay? Go for it, my dear Hadia. Go for it. Um. Muslimatun, Muslimatan, Muslimatin, Muslima, Muslimani, Muslim, Ta, 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 Muslimata, Muslimatani, Muslimatani, Muslimataini, mm -hmm. Good. Musli, um, Muslima, second Muslim, one, third. Muslimatun, Muslimatin, Muslimatin, no, Muslimatun, Muslimatin, Muslimatin. Say it the, like the way I'm saying. Muslimatun, Muslimatin, Muslimatin. 
Very good job. Super duper good job. Very well. I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are so, so, so brave and so, uh, yes, uh, very well done. So proud of you guys. Elena, my dear, unmute yourself. And inshallah, I will be finishing up with Elena and inshallah, next time I listen to all of you guys. Okay. Yes, Elena. very good job very well done very good job so proud of you guys and i want you guys to send me the feminine chart in the group Okay, so inshallah, I will be hearing from you. I will, I'm expecting uh, videos from, um, not videos actually, audios from all of you, inshallah, okay? Yes, inshallah, I am going to do that tomorrow. Inshallah, I'm going to give you words and inshallah, you will be doing a lot of practice for these two tables. As I told you, they are the building blocks of grammar. If you know this, you guys are super awesome, okay? And I want you to say, do you notice that how... Um, High, like my sound goes so high when I'm saying Muslimatun, Muslimatin. I want you guys to do the same. Yeah. If even you speak very slowly and gently for grammar, you guys are going to be just like your teachers. Okay. So, <laughs> inshallah, I will see you all tomorrow. Let me end this session. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.